Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Air Guide. Again, by joined by Real Air 140. It's all a bit chilly here. Yeah? It's all a bit chilly and we're all a bit um, warmed up with a beer. Mm. It's a special review this one. This is Chris's first anniversary. Uh, two so, things. My first wedding anniversary. I've got a special ribbon around this. And I've got my special cravat on. My first anniversary cravat. It's a look I've been looking to rock for a while. Maybe you should all get into it. I yeah, no, I like it. I think it's uh, certainly out in the cold weather. I think you keep your neck warm. It's good for you. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Mrs. Real L. Mrs. Real L. Guide. I nearly said Mrs. Real L. and one forty there, but Mrs. Real L. Guide has just put a nice bow on for the review. And it's the Durham Brewery Temptation Russian Stout. 10% ABV. Here we are. Oh, I was just getting my. I was, I was just thinking the same thing. Nearly a schoolboy error there. Special. Nearly a schoolboy error. Chris has saved it. Durnbury. Opener there. Bottle opener there. This is a, a good old. Uh, this really does get the caps off. Lovely. Off. Really get it. Off you go. Type of thing. Want to pour your beer out, Chris? Yes. Camera? Look at that. Look at that lovely dark pour. I've, I've heard good things about this, um, Chris, and that's probably to do with the, the ladies in there. Yeah. Who, who have reviewed this. And Ellie from the Durham Brewery has uh, given us the, the thumbs up on this. I think I trust her judgement. Yeah. It's very, very dark in the glass. Very dark beer. Nothing at all. You can't catch your hand behind that. No. Nope. Absolutely nothing. I've got the light right up there. It's not given at all. Very, very <coughs> black beer. It's a, it's a kind of a, a tan. Would you say a tan colour head? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's off white, certainly. It's beyond off white, actually. It's got the yellowish hints in there. And it's, look at that, it's sticking. Yeah. To the side of the glass. Lovely. Should we get the nose? Cheers. Oh wow, that is that is lovely, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Coffee and dark berries, like a, a kind of fruit cake. Brownness and yeah. goodness and oh, it's, it's like you've poured I always Reflect back on on a beer like this, where you've you've got a Christmas cake, you've just poured a load of spirit on the top of, the, of a yeah. Christmas cake, and it just before you set fire to it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't have that burnt quality in the nose. No, no, it's definitely not like a a, a, a an average. It's hard. To, it's hard to describe. Sometimes you get a normal stout, which will be very much like a coffee, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then you get a, a stout like this, which is somehow refined, mm. and it's ten percent, but it's, it's less. Yeah, and ten percent is is something that you, know, you want to be wary of. This is one of those beers you're going to want to sit down. I've had a I've had a sip of this before, mm. so I've, I've got a sense. But it's one that you're going to want to sit down and make last the evening. Right. Okay. Maybe more. Maybe maybe one more on top. So eyed up by the ladies here. <laughs> so with that in mind, Cheers let's sure. get a taste. Cheers. Mm. What an amazing mouthfeel. Superb. Absolutely immense. Really. Oh, and you just get a bit of revel. Mm. Right, do you get like a revel? Mm. Like the, 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 Coffee um, revels. Yeah. Oh, coffee revels right at the end, right at the end. Coffee revels. Mm. There's not an overpowering. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm. It's, it's, it's one of them beers where you could pick up twenty flavors, and you're just scrambling for one mm. after the first taste. And we, you know, obviously the first taste is coffee revel, but we could. 
I think we'll sit and dissect this through the flavours as much as we possibly can. But this might be, if we were to try and get every single flavour out of this beer, I think it would be an hour review. Oh. I really think you could, you could really pull flavours out of this for an hour. I mean, the carbonation is very, very gentle in this, but it's very present. Yeah. Um, it's not fizzing it around your mouth. It's just gently making it trawl around your senses. Yeah. It's just making it uh, like a casual walk up over the roof of your mouth, roof of your mouth. And then leaving you right at the end with a little ting at the end. Yeah. A little something on the back of your tongue just going, ha ha ha, I'm here. Yeah, the, it's, it's, I've got to be honest, I'm struggling. It's not often I can say this, but I'm, I'm struggling to understand how this can be a 10% beer. There's no hint of that. I, I've had 5% five, <laughs> beers that taste stronger than this. This is a, uh, there's no alcohol burn whatsoever, is there? Mm. Beautiful, luxurious mouthfeel. It, it, it kind of, it wants to be put round your mouth. Mm. It's like drinking velvet. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely amazing. And you mass produce stout, what are you thinking? You're thinking Guinness. Don't oh, put this in the same place. It's not that. No, this is this is this is phenomenal stuff. So I'm, I'm getting a nice level of coffee mm. and that blends away I'm still to that coffee revel. It, it goes from a it goes from a thick espresso like really expensive coffee taste to then to, to, to coffee revel but then there's there's dark fruits in the beer. Yeah. You get you get the hints of raisins and Yeah. Uh, sultanas and all that business in there. Really good. Right up front, what are you gonna as soon as you put the beer to your mouth and you have a first thing, is something I'm, I'm really trying to get to grips with right up front, as soon as you get that first taste. It's right there, right now. It's There's a taste that will hit your lips, which is the sweetness. Yeah. Well, excuse me. Um, yeah. What is that sweetness? It's, it's just if, you, if you had a coffee with lots of brown sugar in it. If you, if you got your espresso, coffee, and you, and you have your little cup of it, if you yeah. put a, a spoonful yeah. of brown sugar in that, whiz it round, whack it down. Yeah. That's that initial hit of flavour. Oh, but it develops, it develops through the mouth. It just keeps on going, doesn't it? Yeah. It just keeps on going and it's it's not like um you know, when you get a hoppy beer, the hops just pull and pull the bitterness, pulls and pulls and pulls. Boom in at the side. Yeah, end, this so. is this is more a it just stays level. Level for, for a good ten seconds, and then it, and then it, well, even though I'm talking now, it's probably twenty seconds later. This just starting to tail off now yeah. in the flavour, but it's it's a wonderful beer. Absolutely, it really amazing. is a wonderful beer. Um, is it my favourite Durham Brewery beer? What is this race again? What is that? I'd say this is. I'm going to be a bit. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna be honest, really, and say yes. This is my favourite Durham beer. I've done the Bombay 106, the White Stout, the St Cuthbert, the St Cuthbert, which was, oh, mind you, that, that was that, phenomenal. That was, yeah, I've been pretty. <laughs> Stout's not my favourite style of beer, um, but the St Cuthbert's. That was American me, English, it, yeah, American it, English. It, it, it was, it, it, that was in my canon of my kind of. Especially yeah. beer. Yeah. But not being a big fan of stout, I can suddenly see what the fuss about good stouts is all about yeah. with this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Where would I want to drink this? Where would you want to drink this, Chris? This is a real, for me, this is a by the fireside in a pub. Maybe one of those pubs where, you, where the fire is in the middle. And you've got four lots of seating around it. You you've can all, struggled you can to get all, there. You can all cut you around yeah. those, in the big comfy chairs that they might have around it. Maybe you can even get your feet up on the green. Yeah. Struggle to get there. It's freezing cold outside. You're looking yeah. out at the snow. Yeah. You know, 
it's been an effort to get it. It's a, it's a nice log fire in front of you. It's a warm, it certainly is warming me from the inside out. Yeah. It really is. Um, and just before we go into a rating on this, a quick word on Durham Brewery. You've been introduced to them probably over a month. There's, you, you certainly get a level of quality from a certain brewery, don't you? You've got your Thornbridges, your Durhams. Yeah. There's a level of quality. You kind of think that they brew a certain beer and go, nah, that's not good enough. These, these guys have nailed their entire range that I've had. I mean, yeah. We have four of them, four of the range. There's more of a size and they do more on cask and they give them different names and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But the stuff they've released to us is... Ooh. Yeah. It's up there. Yeah. It's just fantastic stuff. Fantastic they're not letting any, any old cack out of the building, are they? And they're not letting accidents out. They're experimenting with styles, you know, with the White Stout. White Stout, Black IPAs, you know. They're thinking about doing, I uh, talked to Ellie the, the other day, that they're, they're going to do a, a red IPA. Wow. I, I, you know, they're really going to start messing with your ideas and your pre preconceptions about beer. They're prepared to do it. And you kind of think there's going to be a history involved as well, don't you? Mm. You kind of think with Durham, with the, where they are in the world, there's going to be a lot of history involved. They're going to find some piece of history that's going to go with a beer. And it's, it's just all good. It's all good. Yeah. Um, so with that, Chris, I'd like to give you ask you to give a rating, if I, if I may. Okay. Well, bearing in mind, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of stout. Even if, even if I was, if, I, if somebody stuck me in front of a log fire, mm. In that pub, that that mystical pub that exists in your mind. So I know, I know I know a couple of pubs that are yeah. like that, where you can put your feet up around the fire. You might be sat there with your laptop these days, rather than just wearing about stuff. But yeah, um, you'd be sat there with your feet around the fire, and I would give this nine and a half. That's considering, like you say, the stout's not your style. That is a fabulous rating. That is a fabulous rating. Mm. Um, I'm going to give it an all out 10. I'm going to give it an all out 10. I think it's a phenomenal beer. Um, from what I've tasted from Imperial Stouts from all over the world, I think this just. The Americans lean towards their IBUs. They want their Imperial Stouts to be really bitter. And I find that's not quite to my style. It's not the, that's, that's not the point of it. No, no, it? it's not. It's, it, I, I want to be able to maybe chuck a whole bottle of that away, maybe two. If, if you know, if, if I'm feeling two in a night, exactly. That's your limit on this. Absolute limit. I'm not looking to be hit with a massive amount of hops to to, to send a bitterness. To, well, I find it, it goes it. too it's far. It yeah, need too yeah. Much it's, it's I find it's just perfect. Mm. It's just perfect for, and you, you probably find it if you were to ask somebody if you were to give them a blind tasting of this, say give them an ABV, they'd probably say 6 or 7, yeah, they'd never be able to say 10. Uh, no, 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 so. Okay, so 10 and a 9.5 from Real Ale Guide and Real Ale with 40. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you for Ellie and uh, Steve Gibbs there, for the head brewer, for brewing such a great beer. The website is just on the front of the bottle there, if you can just catch it, it's www. www.durhambrewery.co.uk Check them out on Twitter. Yep, check them out on Twitter. Durham Brewery. Check them out on Twitter. And I think they got a Facebook site as well. Check them out on Facebook. Cheers again.